Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, showed you a little startup clip there, you guys know what this is. I mean, if you know a lot about these kind of cars, you'll know what it is, right? 1986 Mercury Capri Factory 5.0 T-top car. Uh, it is an auto car, so. <clears throat> so, a little story on this car is I picked this car up out of Arkansas, drove it three hours back home, and ran and drove flawlessly. So we were driving it home, and uh, my wife calls me. You know, she's in front of me, and I'm following her, right? <laughs> and my wife's like, uh, there's smoke coming out the back of that car. I was like, what? So I look at my rearview mirror, and I see a little smoke back there. <laughs> and I was like, well, okay, let's pull over. So I pull over, now you guys have to understand, the day I drove this home, it was 104 degrees that day. That's what uh, the Weather Channel was saying. So we pull over and I lift up the hood, it's smoking a little bit on the uh, passenger side towards the back. So I get to looking and I see that the uh, transmission tube and dipstick, it was really wet around there. Well, it, I, I seen it that the top handle of this dipstick was kind of cocked and I seen some fluid coming down the tube. So it must have been hitting the block and the exhaust, you know, causing the smoke. So what I did was I bent the tip of that handle a little bit so it would clear another hose that it was hitting and I put it down flat and um, seemed to fix it for a little bit. Now given the transmission was probably pretty hot that day anyway, so, I mean, I'm sure it was boiling temperature causing it to come up, you know, the pressure causing it to come up the tube. But, so I went ahead and did that and, you know, it seemed to kind of help it, right? <laughs> so it, was, it did it again. And I knew this car was wet underneath, you know, so it, it has an oil leak and I need to fix. If I end up keeping the car, I'm gonna have to fix that too. But story short, you know, it has a few leaks. It got hot that day <laughs> and she was just burning off some oil and transmission fluid, I guess. So we're gonna have to look into that. It's not a big deal. Car runs and drives beautiful. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the 86 Capri T-Top 5.0. And you guys tell me what you think in the comments, you know, when you're done watching the video. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick video um, it's not going to be perfect. I'm going to be went rambling on here, just getting the information out, showing you guys the car real quick, and on the rest of these cars that I bought. So let's get to it. I'll show you guys around, tell you about it, tell you what I know about it. Actually, this is the first year the Capri got fuel injection. So that, to me, that makes it even cooler. Plus, it's a T-Top 5.0. So this, is to me, is a rare car, right? And um, I, I was very excited to find it and make a deal with the guy on it. Uh, given it does have some issues, I, like I said, the car's not perfect. It'll need a paint job, you guys, and you know, a couple leaks fixed on it. But other than that, it's a really nice car. Now the floor pan on this car, I, I got the look and I did notice it had some surface rust. But when I got it home, I found out that the rust was a little bit more worse than what I thought it would be. And now given you guys, this car is solid inside and out, except for a couple spots on the floor pan. So I'm, if I keep this car, I'm gonna end up sell, uh, I'm gonna end up replacing the pan in it. Full floor pan is what I'm gonna do. So that way it looks nice and factory. And that's what I'm gonna end up doing. So let's take a look at the trunk. I got a few parts in here. 
And I actually have a box of parts for this car as well. Uh, this ain't all the extra parts that I got. This was just a few pieces. It's got an extra piece of glass for one of the sides of the T-top. Uh, got a few dash pieces, a cl cluster that's really nice shape. Uh, you know, so that's those are pretty hard to get. But like like I said, the interior is pretty nice on this car, you guys, for 1986. You can see there's minimal rust on the car. I mean, the car is fairly solid. You know, these cars, man, they tend to rust all to hell. But this is not bad. I'm not sure if it's car's been repainted. We do got some heavy rust here bubbling on the trunk lid. On the trunk lid. But other than that, it's pretty nice. Let's take a look at the interior. I mean, this weather's getting all kinds of crazy out here. All kinds of crazy. Okay, let's look at the interior. Now, I haven't done anything to this car since I bought it. I have not cleaned it. I have not done anything. I haven't done any repairs on it nothing so this is the car as i bought it <clears throat> now it does uh have the door tag still on the car you can see the top section of the information but not the bottom but i know this is a factory 50 auto and i know it's i think it's a jalapeno red is what this one is so but i mean the door panels look how clean they are original carpet the seats is what really really um gets me i can't believe the, the condition of the seats for being the year that it is pretty good they're going to need a cleaning you know the the quarter panels are going to need cleaned and re-dyed so i mean the panels are going to have to be touched up in here no doubt the dash is really nice there is a crack on the speaker um, on that side, which I'm gonna replace the whole top dash section. They sell them But pretty clean car inside for the most part It does have some some surface rust along the bottom of this door. The other door is pretty good so <clears throat> Not bad for an old 86 pretty clean Pretty clean Oh yeah, I want to show you guys the motor, of course, right? You want that's what you want to see. All right, so I am very surprised at this car. It is stock. From what I can see, you guys, this car is stock, except for the headers and the exhaust. The motor itself is is stock. I haven't cleaned this yet, you guys. So, you know, I know it's dusty and dirty. And I'm just, I'm going to have to power wash this and clean this up. And look how clean, well, once I get it clean, you can see how nice the engine bay will be. Um, I don't know if this car has been sprayed. It, 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 oh yeah, it has. He said he's, he's sprayed this in a couple spots on the outside. I don't know about the engine bay. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's stock in the engine bay. The car does show like 55,000 miles on the odometer. So it's probably 155,000 on this. Um, I don't know, really don't care. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't really give a shit about that. But man, you guys, pretty cool. I do, I do dig the 10th anniversary wheels on this car. It actually looks pretty good on it. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think about the 10th anniversaries on this car. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna the next video we do, we'll probably uh, take the T-tops off. I'm not gonna do it in this video. You know, I plan on doing a couple videos on this car. Um, actually, even more if I keep it. So there it is, 1986 Mercury Capri Factory 5.0 T-top, auto car, rare car in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down below. And let me know if I should keep this one. You know, that, uh, everybody told me that, hey, keep that 87 GT T-top, keep it. Well, let me know about this one. This one's gonna need a lot more work. And, um, but it, the car is worth, doing the work to. 
actually was trying to look for one of these for a while and found this one and ended up buying it. This, t this was kind of an impulse buy, really, even though I've been wanting an 86 Capri 5.0, and it was even better getting the T-top. I was kind of looking for one in a little bit better condition, but like I said, you guys, these are hard to find. Um, just a couple spots on the floor and, you know, a few little spots here and there, and that's it. I mean, this car is a beautiful candidate for restoration. It is, it's good. It runs and drives good, too. But that's it, you guys. Let me know what you think um, about the 86 Capri, if I should keep it, do the work to it, and um, that's it. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification. That's all I'm asking, you guys. Uh, we'll see you on the next video.